it's already there no one I didn't see anyone ah oh, that really chaps my ass really oh, come on guys we gotta do better we gotta do better you just return the shopping carts hashtag hungry you gotta want it Welcome to Feeding Time. The big guy Ryback back again. Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. And it's been a bit, and it is that time I swung by the Garden Grill, which congratulations to the Garden Grill. They told me they're top 10. They made top 10, not for vegan restaurants in Las Vegas, top 10 for all of restaurants in Las Vegas. And uh, don't you dare hit my car with that shopping cart. Oh, don't. You better return it, lady. Oh, she's an elderly woman. Not that old, though. But moving a little gingerly. And it's actually two elderly women. They parked all the way in the back of the parking lot. They appeared to go to Michael's. And they left the cart right next to my car over here next to a nice street. Parked in a nice shady spot. But it's... pisses me off. Do I shell shock the, the old ladies? That's not very nice. But they didn't return their cart to the, the thing, but they parked all the way at the back of the goddamn parking lot. There's spots all up front. Stupid. And there's another cart over there. Same thing. It's already there. No one I didn't see anyone. Oh, that really chaps my ass. Really, oh, come on, guys. We got to do better. We got to do better. You just return the shopping carts. Hashtag hungry. You got to want it. Anyways, congratulations to the Garden Grill, guys. This is one of my favorite spots in all of Vegas. And uh, now they're stopped right in front of me. Just go. We're not, we're letting it go. We're letting it go. All right? Water under the bridge. Don't drown. Um, so anyways, I'm, uh, I've, I've made a special request here today, which you can do too. If you come to the garden grill here in Las Vegas off of Buffalo and Lake Mead today, guys, cause they have the best chicken, the, the Buffalo and barbecue chicken. I went with a Buffalo chicken quesadilla, Buffalo chicken quesadilla guys. Have you ever had a Buffalo chicken quesadilla? I haven't, but I'm about to today. And I also got a Buffalo California burrito. Buffalo chicken California burrito. Look at that. This thing. Jeez. I, and I got a big massive chest workout and conditioning. I'm going to go work home at a workout at Feed Me More Fitness today at home. So it's feeding time. Let's get into this. We're going to start off with this Buffalo chicken burrito. Before I do this, so I'm going to take a serving of my too sweet blood sugar support this is great i have this two times a day with my carbs carb meals it's great to have before a cheat meal and uh it absolutely works and it's amazing and i brought it with me so i can throw it in the video because this is the time that you would consume this i like to do it though and when i don't do these videos once a week with uh my morning carb meal and then my late afternoon carb meal so smile Free shakers with your orders all November. Don't forget we have our Feed Me More Nutrition $1,000 cash giveaway. Also on feedmemore.com. Ah, all right. Shut up. All right. Turn that air down a smidge. Get everything nice. They gave me extra napkins because... They probably figured this might be a little messy. And if you know me, I'm a real slob. I'm actually not. I'm actually very mild-mannered and polite. It's just when you do these videos, you know. Jesus, this thing is... This is going to be... I'm gonna, this is going to be a meal. All right. 
Mm. Oh, crap. We've got guacamole, rice, beans, the tortilla. We've got the buffalo chicken. We can get that buffalo chicken. Mm. Oh, this was a good call. I think we got a new menu item here, guys. And there's fries. I just cleaned. There's fries. I forgot there's fries in there. Oh, man. Oh, it's dripping from the bottom. That's what she said. Patch that up a little. Tighten that up. Do your Kegels. Mm. Man. This is good. Wow. Ooh. I appreciate all I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. We're almost to four hundred thousand subscribers. Oh, that is, mm. oh I got a big bite of buffalo chicken on that one. This was a good call. Great call. I wonder, do I have the most uh, subscribers for Vegan Food Channel Review? Am I number one on that, or is there like a few people ahead of me on that? I don't know. Oh my God. Tomato, onion, chicken. I want to shut my eyes. This is really hitting, hitting the spot. Damn. What a, wow. Oh, man. Freaking Jack. I'm definitely gonna be carved up for this workout. Oh, the birds. A huge group of birds on the ground. Pigeons. Mike Tyson would be in heaven right now. He loves pigeons. I think that's a beautiful thing. There's birds all around my car, too, now over here. I'm like the Ace Ventura of birds. They can sense the vegan food review over here. They're all flying over. Holy hell. I legit feel kind of like Ace Ventura right now. Oh! I saw that that YouTube might get rid of the dislikes or something on here. We've got everything with Facebook going to meta, the metaverse, which and I heard Rogan talking about, like, with it was Ben Shapiro, that guy, I like listening to him. Um, somebody's, shut up. The, uh, with everything going on and where we're moving forward with, like, technology. I really believe they're going to do what they're going to do for pure profit. Whether it's better for us or not, it's not. Nothing is ever going to compare to living in the real world. In, in developing ourselves, nothing. Now, you could do other things and fill voids with this stuff temporarily. Nothing is permanent with it. 
And the minute that stuff gets unplugged, you're lacking in a whole, a whole lot of areas if you don't work in real life. Key is, use it. Use it to our advantage. Live in the real world as much as possible. Use it, combine it in, in a balanced, healthy way like anything else. Gold. Go, go to the extreme on it though, not good. But those companies, they're gonna want you to go to the extreme because they make more money. But I was wondering, because like Black Mirror, remember that episode? Where social media is essentially like currency and the ratings and everyone that walks by, their profile pops up and you rate your experience. And it almost, it forces you to be fake. It eliminate because, it, but it forces you to be nice or else risk your value going down in a way by bad ratings with that, which is essentially like controlling the environment. But, and you can see where you look, well, you go, well, it's eliminate, eliminating hate and negativity, but it's in a very fake way. It's just very, it's a very slippery slope with that. And I don't know, it's just crazy with that, right? But I do think if you take away like the dislike button or whatever, then it's not an option, right? Remember, if it was ever an option to begin with, people wouldn't even be, wouldn't be a thing, but they're the ones that created it. I don't know. I think the key is, you know, is understanding how to use social and you post on things you like. You try not to post as much on things you don't like. But. Oh no, did I not get a fork? Gosh, I'm going to have to. I don't want to get my hands too, too messy on this. This is my blueberry complex city. They did a great job on it, but I'm gonna go with the grape. The grape is, is ready. This needs to be redone a couple times or at least once to get it right. <clears throat> but so we're gonna do a great complex city and they did the creamy peanut butter uh, plant-based protein, nailed it. That one is uh, got put in and uh, coming out next for the long, we have our caramel cookie now, so. All right. This is the buffalo chicken quesadilla. Oh, what is it? The vegan cheese on top? This is gonna be scrumptious. Damn. I'm gonna have a hell of a pump today. Going hard in the paint, big guy. All right, where do I start? Oh man, this should be illegal. Wow. This is, this, this might be my new favorite thing. Damn. Appreciate two nice people sitting down enjoying a lunch in there today. I'm waiting to order. They just go, we love your food channel. We love your channel. I said, thank you very much. And that was it. Just two nice people that gave me a compliment. Having a nice lunch together. Thank you guys very much for being very polite and nice. big piece of the quesadilla. Damn. You can see the buffalo chicken in there. Wow. Oh. 
Holy hell. This is, this is, you guys got to try this. I'm trying to think, I was like, would I even want, you don't even need like ranch with this or anything. It's just so good by itself. Damn, I can't stop saying damn. The cart collector over there. He kind of gave me a look. And the cart collector is collecting the cart, and he took the receipt and threw it on the ground and littered. I am watching felonies all day long around here. Come on, bud. Come on. What is going on? Why litter? He probably thinks I left the car because I'm parked right next to it. <laughs> oh, right on those two old ladies in a heartbeat. Call me 619. What? That's not what I'm 69. Is it six? What the hell did I name it? Snick. This was a failing meal in all the right ways. This buffalo chicken quesadilla is, these both are delicious, but I, their quesadillas are, they have the best buffalo chicken and quesadillas in town. And I've just combined their two greatest items. Thanksgiving right around the corner. I should have a Thanksgiving video out by Thanksgiving. But in the case, in the situation that I don't, I do wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving and hope you guys could have a good holiday together. And uh, I'll probably have a get together at my house, family. And uh, <clears throat> but I hope you guys, I've had ones when I was younger and in wrestling where I didn't, and I was by myself. So if you're by yourself, you want to tune on Try to get a family thing to get a Thanksgiving feast with the big guy. Do a meal somewhere. Garden Grill actually has all vegan Thanksgiving stuff you could buy. That pre-order though is coming up pretty soon. I think by the 20th. Yeah, I think on the 20th if I'm not mistaken. Man, done. Yeah. Pre order by November 20th. Visit gardengrillv.com to place your order for pickup on 1124. We'll be closed on Thanksgiving. And they've got their Thanksgiving menu. So, green bean kayas, roll classic stuffing, cheesecake. They had a Rocky Road cheesecake in there. I got to go look. Lemon chicken, uh, roasted garlic, mashed potatoes. Wow. Wow. Awesome. This place is unbelievable. Okay. <clears throat> oh, cop driving by. I'm not doing anything except for eating vegan food. Leave me alone. <clears throat> All right, guys. Buffalo chicken California burrito and the buffalo chicken quesadilla. <clears throat> We're giving the buffalo chicken burrito. The thing's very filling. Either one of these is enough for just 
you can get them with the side in there. I just got them straight. I didn't need to eat anything else. I figured that was going to be a good amount, and it was. Um, you could do the, the burrito with either chips and salsa or a side salad on that. Um, eat the salad, fat ass. The, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, guys. The uh, I'm going to give that a 9.7 out of 10. And I'm giving that buffalo chicken quesadilla 10 out of 10. I will say, get a side of the vegan ranch maybe for the quesadilla. And it can ha enhance it even more, but it doesn't need it. Because they have, I believe they have a chipotle, vegan chipotle sauce on it. That is perfect with the cheese and the buffalo chicken. So, job well done, guys. Thank you very much. As always, Garden Grill coming through. You can order that. If you go in and make special requests, they're pretty flexible on all that stuff from what I understand. So if not, they've got a, a very diverse menu. I've just happened to have eaten everything here already. This is one of my favorite spots. So thank you guys, as always, for the love and support. And uh, my shoulder's doing great. We're getting closer every week. I'm feeling absolutely amazing. So thank you. And uh, just hang tight, please. I've got this. We've got this recovery by the horns. And uh, it's going to be feeding time sooner rather than later. And uh, you can show your love and support through Feed Me More Nutrition, my premium supplement line sweetened with stevia and among fruit, no artificial sweeteners and colors. Vegan friendly, that's where I've got my two sweet and 12 other supplements on there. Guys, started with three. We have 13 now. And um, yeah, vegan friendly, gluten free. Uh, Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com. So, and that stacks really well the two sweet with our Shell Shock Extreme Fat Burner. Legit, you guys will love it. And uh, do the work, the supplements work. That's what I always say. All right, guys. Until we feed again, stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show, and The Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.